What's up, guys? Troy and NASCAR here. Just got done watching the race in Texas. The Kevin Harvick dominated. I mean, he did. He led most of it. I know they had points where we had Logano leading. We had Ryan Blaney leading. It, it was pretty much Harvick's race to one. Once he can get up to you and get around you, he was gone. I mean, look at some moments like it was a strategy play that you know might work out for someone like Jimmy Johnson to win. But, you know, it is what it is. Look, Kevin Hart is part of the big three. He has punched his ticket along with Joey Logano to get in there. I think for the race next week in Phoenix, bar anything major crazy happening, I think, even though I said the Truex would be out of it, I, I have a feeling with the amount of points they got and the way that both Truex and Kyle Busch, they both faced a lot of adversity during the race. And they're in good shape. I mean, they're they're healthy, you know. They're good, so they'll they'll probably not make it. It's gonna be the big three versus Joey Logano, pretty much. It'll be two Fords and two Toyotas, no Chevys. Now it's Chase Elliott pulls off a, a miracle at Phoenix. Don't see it happening. Like it to happen, but I just don't see it happening. Let's see, there's some other things. Um, in this video, there'll be a thumbnail that was made two days ago by Shiny Knife. He sent it to me, he's like, hey, this is a demo one, I'm going to give you a thumbnail, and it says, Kevin Hart punches his ticket. I just sent him a message, he's like, well, don't worry about sending me a thumbnail, because you, you got it. He didn't have Kevin Harvick picked in his top four as a winner, but he knew for some reason he was winning Texas. So, I mean, that's, you know, we knew Harvick was going to be good. If you're driving a Ford, you're going to be good. I mean, at the... Top four out of the five was Fords, and Eric Jones snuck his way into the fourth spot in this race. It, it's getting to be, you know, I complained about it when Toyota was dominating, and I'm going to complain about it. I like parity. You know, I want Ford, Chevy, and yes, an occasional Toyota win to make things interesting to give me something to complain about. You know, I just want a little more parity. You know, I like it when there's different winners all the time. All different kinds of things can happen. But it's still been a pretty good season up so far. So, can't complain. But I'm going to anyway because I'm a jerk. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the race. I like It was alright for me. I, it, I mean, it wasn't the most boring race I've seen. But it wasn't the most exciting either. But, you know, that's the deal about being a NASCAR fan. Just like any sports fan. There's going to be some times where you're just going to be like, Man, this is this game is boring, or my team isn't playing the way I want them to. So it all happens. So don't take my complaining as, you know, whining and being one of those like fake NASCAR fans. I love the sport. I watch it every fucking week. <clears throat> but you know, just want more excitement. And more I think about it as I'm talking, I was like, wait a minute. Come to think of it, Richmond after an exciting race in Las Vegas was kind of boring too. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe all that after all that excitement after the opening round, everybody's calmed down a little bit. Could happen, but Phoenix is gonna ramp up. I, I ex expect Phoenix to be extremely intense. And but I still think it's gonna be the big three versus Joey Logano. Well guys, that's all I got to for this episode. I'll see you all for the pre race. Get those picks win. We got two more weeks to go. Still chances for a winner. So guys, anyway, make a long story short, go fuck yourself, Brian France.